Hey babes, welcome to my channel. My name is Meredith and I currently work full time as a food delivery service driver and today we are going to be trying out kind of like a new side hustle app and that app is called Rover. It's basically like a dog sitting app. You can do drop in visits, you can do walks and you could also board at the people's houses or you can take care of them like kind of like in your house I guess. Currently right now since I do live with other people and there's no dogs allowed, I only like the services that I provide are only drop-in visits walks and um like me boarding at other people and i already have done some services already but today we are going to be doing three different services all of them well no three different kind of like appointments or you know bookings and they're all three like uh all three of them are like drop-in visits um it's two different dogs one of them is a golden retriever named macy and that one is the one that i'm about to have in literally like two minutes um hers is two times uh today today is what day is it september 25th on a saturday so it's one at three o'clock and i think the second one is at 10 o'clock and then i have zoe at 9 30 ish depending on how i decide to i guess like like um like she will let me go early and since it is at 10 o'clock that i have to go to macy but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and show you um all like the the paying and stuff like i'll show you the formats and screenshots of like how the app looks and all of that but yeah right now i'm on my way to macy's house she lives literally right down the street which is so lucky because i just started rover so i don't really have i only have like four um bookings so far and i already finished like two of those um but yeah so let's go ahead and start driving to Macy's all right guys so in the app I basically click home and it shows me kind of like all of the things that I have to do today and we're gonna start off with the 30 minute sorry about my nails I try to paint them but then I didn't like the color um but 30 minute drop off for Macy we're gonna go ahead and click start and we're gonna click yes and the owner gave me a key so I'm gonna go ahead and go inside hello oh my god hello baby girl hello oh my god she's so excited it's okay hey baby girl hey. okay so the owner left instructions so i went ahead and fed her what the instructions said and after i feed her she already has water so i don't really need to fill that up and i'm really just gonna play with her and just take her out on a walk hopefully you know she's not too pulley that i can film that part but um but yeah i'll show you when i walk her around I'm just really going to quickly go over how the app works. So as soon as you click the button that I showed you earlier to agree that you've started it, it shows you pee, poop, food, and water. And since she peed and pooped while we walked and I gave her food and water, it basically says the dog right here. And then it shows you... She's drinking water. <laughs> but yeah, so it basically shows you... Like all of that, you can add a note, which I will add like a quick summary of everything and then some photos to make sh to show her that she ate and she walked and all of that. Usually the owners don't really require this part, but I just like to take photos and show them anyways. But yeah, and then when you finish, oops, didn't click that. When you finish the visit, which I'll do after I write the note and like the summary, I'll click finish and then I'll just click yes and then the visit will be over. You such a good girl. All right, really quickly while I'm petting her, I'm gonna just go over how to finish visit. So you click finish visit and it usually like pops up when it hasn't been 30 minutes, but since it has been 30 minutes since I've gotten here, it just shows you the summary, like how many photos you did and what time you actually did the visit. The message, which is basically like, I usually write a summary for the owners. I basically put how many times they peed, pooped, how many times they got water and food, and then just all of the photos. So then when you're done with that, you just click send right here, 
and basically is like a little loading screen and it just basically tells you that your drop-in has been complete Alrighty guys, I'm just going to quickly go over like, I guess like the summary for this visit. This is the conversation that I have with the owner. I'm not really going to go into detail about that. But when you click on details, it shows you what kind of services that you are actually doing. So this one is a drop-in visit. It shows you the total pricing. And if it loads, I will go into detail for that anytime now. Okay. So like I said, it showed you what services you wanted and the dog's name is Macy. So for every visit, I charge $15 um, basically for a 30 minute visit. And this one says that it's for five visits. So it's basically $15, uh, not $15 for 30 minutes because technically Rover takes out a 20% charge. Um, of everything that you make through their app so technically it's only $12 for 30 minutes and technically it's not always 30 minutes because you know the drive sometimes they're like 10 minutes from your house so you have to drive 10 minutes to and from so um this one I got really lucky since he is really down the street from me but it basically shows you the total and for this pricing which I will show you if I you know know how to explain everything um, basically I'm gonna raise my prices for the visit because $12 for 30 minutes isn't that good especially when you're wasting gas to going to their house and all that stuff but yeah total for 75 and then it basically does like a really breakdown of like what days and what time and then the pet is Macy and then it basically shows you the view care like I guess like the um, vet or anything that they have if they have like a specific um hospital not hospital but like vet or anything that they go to I won't go down because it will show the person's address but yeah that's pretty much it for that part and you know like it says in the bottom that I started a drop-in and I'm sorry about that now polish again but it shows you like the drop-in visit and how long it lasted and when you click see rover car it basically gives you a quick summary like about how I showed you earlier Alrighty guys, and I'm just going to show you how um, my profile looks. Usually, um, this is like a different like version of the profile. Usually, it shows you like a photos that I have really like put up to show like the animals that like I've taken care of or any pet pics. But yeah, so it basically says my name. It says my profile. It shows where my like general area is. It shows you my reviews and if I've had any repeat clients and I have had one. Um, obviously, this isn't really that good because I just started. It basically shows you my whole summary um, I'll go ahead and like go ahead and show that if you want to read and pause it or anything and then it shows you my clients reviews and then it shows you my av availability and then if you scroll a little bit down it shows you what kind of animals I can take care of I can take care of cats small dogs medium large extra large whatever you really think of it and then it shows you how much I charge for my services for house sitting I charge 45 and then for drop-in visits and walk-in I charge $25 that was lower when I first started and I probably will lower it again because I noticed that when I put up the prices um, I haven't really been getting much clients but at the same time you don't really want to be wasting your time with like you know because um, usually the cheaper that you go um, usually you get not bad clients but people that don't really have really good um, well-behaved dogs and it will be a lot to do um and yeah and if you click add services it goes into detail like house sitting 45 if it's on holidays i charge that much for additional dogs for cats drop-in visits and then dog walking so i'll go ahead and go back to that oops what did i do um let me go ahead and go back to my profile but yeah, and then uh, this is the actual version that they see. For some reason, my photos aren't loading. Um, but yeah, it shows you what I can provide. I've had senior dog experience. I can provide daily exercise or a medication administration. It shows you my location. And then it also shows you my dogs, the dogs that I've currently had. Um, obviously, like I said, it shows the reviews. And then the services goes more into detail and like the days that I'm available. Um, usually I would say to go based off like the people that are around you if you are just starting go with um, like see what's in your area and see how cheap or how expensive they have it and usually I go based off that alrighty guys sorry for all of that information all at once but it is currently 346 and I've like done all of the explanations and stuff I don't have another drop-in visit until like 9 20 9 30 ish so I will see you then technically it's a big jump if the video isn't super long then I'll also show you what I do tomorrow because tomorrow I have 
today I have three and tomorrow I have four drop-in visits so I guess I could put all of that in the video mm, if there's any questions that y'all have just please make sure to um, put it down below um, I am just starting so I am not like the most knowledgeable person in the world but yeah if you like this video please subscribe like comment I will be having a giveaway once I reach 1,000 subscribers um, it's probably gonna be like a gift card or like a custom shirt like for example if you're a driver yourself I could make you like a vinyl shirt saying of like what you work or just literally anything it doesn't have to be work related whatsoever it can literally be a vinyl picture of your dog for you know all I care I just want to make my subscribers know that I'm super thankful and I know in a lot of my videos I look super miserable miserable but sometimes you know I don't really have a lot of motivation I usually have motivation when I'm having like a super good day or like I don't have really much to do but a lot of times you know it's a little stressful um, when I have to work and go to school and run my small business but i like to just show you everything that i do and i know um i have seen a comment that said my videos are a bit repetitive and i'm sorry i'm gonna try and get different like styles and all that and i'm gonna kind of show more of like me at first i didn't want to i just wanted it to be straight professional and all that but yeah um like i said thank you so much for like following me and watching my videos um, and I know this isn't food delivery service content, but this is just content for people that want to try Rover out Or just if you'd like to watch my sh like my videos and I was gonna say show But just my videos in general. I'm really thankful and yeah I'll show you when I get my next Rover sitting. Alrighty guys I know it is super dark in here, so I'm just gonna use my car lights um, but it is currently 905 and like I said I have two more drop-in visits one for the dog that you saw earlier and then one for a tiny uh, shih tzu puppy and that one I'm gonna see first so then after I finish that one I'm just gonna head directly back to Macy the dog that y'all have seen earlier and I'll go ahead and show you how to start the second one and currently I'm eight minutes and 5.5 miles from Zoe the little shih tzu puppy so yeah let's go ahead and start driving Alrighty guys, so I just arrived and since it is Zoe, this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and say that I started it and I'm going to go ahead and start the drop off and let's go ahead inside and start this booking. Alrighty guys, so she just gets this and water. She used to just get um, this and some milk on top of it, but um, I'm guessing that her owner took her off formula for the milk. But yeah, let's go ahead and give this to her and fill up her little water. And here is Zoe. She's super cute, very tiny. She's about maybe, I think it was two months old. All right, so after I feed her, I make sure to change the padding in her cage and then in her cage that's in the living room. Hey guys it is currently 9 55 and like i said i have a 10 p.m for macy's i'm currently outside of our house right now i did not really explain how i ended the last booking like the one for zoe mainly because there was some creepy dudes outside and they kept staring at me and like mouthing some words and like i was parked right beside them and i didn't really want to film or anything being right beside them it was just kind of annoying like dude if you see some girl in her car why are you annoying her like please don't like if you're a dude out there just be respectful to people even if you're a girl like everyone just be respectful to everyone like if like i'm literally over here in my car minding my business and but yeah 
so i didn't really get to record like the ending like that booking process but it is the exact same as the one that i had um done earlier so i'm gonna go ahead and go inside macy's house and walk her out it is really really dark in this neighborhood and the owner did mention that if i'm not comfortable walking her then i could just take her in the backyard but i am comfortable because this neighborhood um i know really well and i think everyone is super friendly um and I'm just gonna go ahead and walk her around for like maybe 20 minutes or something and then just play with her inside her house for the remaining. But yeah, let's go ahead and go and meet Macy another time for today. Hello. She's super excited. Super excited. Oh, look, she already got the tennis ball. She wants to play. Oh, baby girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and check if there's anything here in the notes for feeding her or doing anything in the afternoon since it is currently around 10 p.m. But if not, then I'm just gonna go ahead and take her on a walk. She's super energetic. She's a really, really big dog, but she's super, super patient. And yeah, she literally already wants to go outside to play with the tennis ball. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that is it for today. As you see, all of them say completed. Alrighty guys, I finished those three row settings. I don't know if I will continue the video tomorrow and add it to this part, but if I do not continue the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, like, subscribe, comment any questions you have below, and I'll see you on the next one.